In this episode, we're going to do two things. One, we're going to create a short leg, um, essentially a call debit spread, if you will, to profit from our confirmed and qualified weekly breakout uh, and also our confirmed price action trend. Now, notice that with this model for our spreads, we have factored in market direction. The second thing that we're going to do in this brief and entertaining video is call bull on delta neutral trading in absence of a directional model. Now, some people call traders who do that idiots. I don't because it isn't nice. But if you don't have a directional model underneath your spreads, it makes it very, very difficult to do this. There's a lot of talk out there about delta neutral positions. Everybody discusses it. But the bottom line is you have to understand volatility what the option chain is doing, and the fact that the underlying asset is always moving around. Markets are not static. So if you have a lot of volatility, that means you're going to have deviations from the long-term mean. It's going to be moving. So you're not going to get a decent spread on in, in an option chain that is not moving around in terms of the underlying asset. Get that through because it just doesn't work otherwise. We're going to revisit one quick thing before we move on to our, our Tesla spread. We're looking here at Roblox. All right. This option chain has an implied volatility, as you can see here, of 98.95 and historical volatility of 87.86. What should this tell you? This tells you that the option chain is overvalued. We don't want to be buying long calls and long puts in overvalued option chains. Don't bother. Why? I get a lot of questions about that. Because whatever's happening with the Roblox market right now, they're expecting something one way or the other. All right. They're pricing a lot of premium into the near and long term uh, options for this, which means whenever that event happens or whatever, when that passes, this option chain is more likely to deflate, which it's going to take your long leg with it. We don't want to do that because our spreads or our long calls, long puts involve you know, the same underlying. We can't hedge that. So don't bother. All right. Let's go back then to our Tesla trade. And as you remember from last time, we chose the low 60 delta with the lowest theta that we could find in the, in the chain. If you did not watch that video there's a link to it in the description below. Check that out first. So we put the long leg on. Now we're going to do the short. So since we've chosen the appropriate option for uh, the June expiration in this, meaning we have low theta and high delta in the 60s, meaning that this thing should take off immediately following um, the breakout in the underlying. So now we're going to shop the short term call, which we're going to use uh, the monthly expiration on the 14th, or we may go down and we may look at the 29th. So let's just say we're going to look at the 29th. Give this some time. So what we want to do here is we want to take, we want to sell as close to the price as we can um, with the most premium and the highest theta. So we want the most volatility and the highest theta for our short leg. So in this case, what we're going to do is we can look at the 1025, which has 1.4 and delta 53 and an implied volatility of 60, which is less than our long leg. Uh, actually, it's greater rather than our long leg. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to sell, we're going to sell the 1025 here, which gives us a 140 theta, $1.40 and implied volatility of 60. So that's really good, good decay given what will happen. So let's go over to the options screen. Now, what we can see here is we have bought to open our, our June 17, 975 call, which has our, our uh, mid 60s delta and a theta of approximately between 60 and 70 cents. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a leg to that. So click, we're gonna add, a an option leg right there. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to sell to open seven of, what did we choose? We chose the April 29 weekly option okay. at 10.25. Slightly out of the money, not bad. Gives us a chunk of premium as well. So we're going to go 10.25. Okay. 
Now, first thing that you're going to notice, well, we are going to sell less than we are buying. All right. Why? Because we're expecting the underlying, in this case, Tesla, to appreciate in value. Now, what this means is that this spread will make money no matter how high Tesla goes. We are factoring in movement in the underlying. We have an underlying market timing model. So this breakout, what this means is because our, and this is extremely important, because the delta of the June 17 long calls is roughly 65, as soon as this price takes off, we're going to get into the 70 and into the 80 delta area as we pass through that on the way to parity, meaning that the short leg is going to crumble very quickly and move to parity much faster than our long call. So we only sell seven of these for roughly the delta, and this will operate then as a one-on-one. So no matter how high the Tesla goes in price, this spread will make money the whole way up. Now there's a cap because once we're at parity on the short leg, um, which will be obviously seven, we can't have more than, than, than seven. And then we're, we're at roughly 80, 85, whatever on, on the long call, then this will, this will hit a spot at which will, there will be no more increase in the value of the spread. Okay. So that's kind of obvious, but it needs to be said. Okay. So that's exactly what we're looking at. We're obviously going to do this as a net. It's going to be a net debit, um, and we can work. Uh, we can work that in real time on the bid ask size for both uh, both legs. That's exactly what you need to do. There's three things that you need to do well in order to do spreads, uh, debit spreads especially. You need to properly assess and price the long leg. Then you want to find as much premium and as much as theta as you can in the short leg, preferably slightly out of the money like this one. Then you need to time the market. That's, that's point three. So that we expect upward movement and then we can profit anywhere from 30 to 70% or so uh, as high as the underlying will go. It's exactly what you need to do in order to do this long term. If you don't understand how to time the market, there's a link below. I teach traders all of the time, and I've been teaching people how to do this uh, long enough to know that most people have no idea what they're doing. So there's a link to my free training um, in the uh, below in the description, and that will help you one learn how to trade properly so that you can look for low risk entries. And then second, you can use that knowledge in order to do anything you want. If you want to trade directionally or if you want to trade spreads or options or anything, um, knowing which way the wind blows is the key to doing this. Thanks, everybody. Put this to work. It's going to up your game and I will see you all next time. Have a great day.